Hello everyone, today we will be talking about finger clubbing. Definition of finger clubbing. Clubbing is a clinically descriptive term referring to the bulbous uniform swelling of the soft tissue of the terminal phalanx of a digit with subsequent loss of the normal angle between the nail and the nail bed. So what is the pathophysiology of finger clubbing? Alterations in size and configuration of the club digit result from changes in the nail bed, beginning with increased interstitial edema early in the process. As clubbing progresses, the volume of the terminal portion of the digit may increase because of an increase in the vascular connective tissue and change in quality of the vascular connective tissue, although some cases have been associated with spurs of bone on the terminal phalanx. Then that was the first explanation. This is the second explanation. Hypoxia has been proposed as an alternative explanation for clubbing in cyanotic heart disease and pulmonary diseases. An increase in hypoxia may activate local vasodilators, consequently increasing blood flow to the distal portion of the digits. However, in most cases, hypoxia is absent in the presence of clubbing, and many diseases with noted hypoxia are not associated with clubbing. So what's the etiology of clubbing? Clubbing can be idiopathic or secondary to many underlying pathologies in various organ systems. Causes of idiopathic or primary clubbing include pachydermoperiosteosis, familial clubbing, and hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. So secondary causes of clubbing. They are divided according to system that is cardiac, respiratory, GI, and others. So cardiac causes include infective endocarditis, congenital heart disease, arterial myxoma, sickle cell disease. Respiratory causes are bronchial carcinoma, bronchiectasis, empyema, cystic fibrosis, interstitial lung disease, lung abscess, mesothelioma, sarcoidosis. Gastrointestinal causes include inflammatory bowel disease, gastrointestinal lymphoma, celiac disease, hepatic cirrhosis. Other causes include thyroid acropathy, Graves' disease, familial or congenital malignancy, and pregnancy. So, in the previous slide, we talked about causes of finger clubbing according to systems. So, this is just a mnemonic to remember the causes of finger clubbing. So, the mnemonic is clubbing. System for cyanotic heart disease and cystic fibrosis, alpha lung cancer, lung abscess. U for ulcerative colitis, B for bronchiectasis, the other B for benign mesothelioma, I for infective endocarditis and in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, and for neurogenic tumors, and G for gastrointestinal disease. So causes of secondary clubbing, basically what we just talked about, this is just explained. So let's talk about the thing, the stages of finger clubbing. Stage one includes increased softening and fluctuation of the ungual bed. Two, loss of the natural 15 degrees angle between the nail and cuticle. Three, increased convexity of the ungual bed. Four, clubbed appearance of the genital extremity, which we commonly call rhythmic appearance. And five, increase of the extremity with thickening of the distal phalanx and longitudinal striations on the fingernail. And then other books just say they just four stages of finger clubbing as you can see here. And then with the diagram. So if you just want to remember it easily, so the first picture is normal, grade one is nail fault field, two is peaking, three is increased pulp, and four is increased lateral, which is drumstick appearance. So that's all about finger clubbing. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.